Africa must better manage its natural resource wealth to improve the lives of it, millions of its peoples. And so far, frankly, resource-rich resource rich countries haven't done so, with the gap between the rich and the poor actually going up instead of going down. That was the fairly grim message from the Africa Progress Panel at this year's World Economic Forum meeting on Africa. With the details on the latest edition of this annual report, here's CCTV Sumitra Naidu. A stark warning to African governments. Take care of your people or you will risk losing it all. Africa has been riding the wave of high growth, mostly as a result of high commodity prices. But millions of Africans still don't have food and jobs. The report we are launching today provides some grave and disappointing examples of how income from oil, gas and mining resources has been squandered through under-evaluation, shady deal-making and mismanagement. Revenues from Africa's vast natural resources have the potential to dramatically improve the lives of millions of people. But in some countries, these revenues are being squandered, widening the gap between the rich and the poor. There's no single bullet. Corruption is not new. It's been there since uh, the fall of man, shall we say. But we are, these are part of the tools of us fighting back, publishing a report like this here at WEF, where the business community is, is, is meeting. And we're saying, before you all slap each other on the back, take a look at this. The panel has put forward several recommendations for African governments, a call to African leaders to also remember their bargaining power. There will be in existence a tax legislation where withholding tax is going to have to augment the initial resources coming from the, the arrangement of the partnership. There's also going to be royalties depending on which part of the country was producing these natural resources. And therefore, in totality, the money that will come from this is going to be a lot more for the country uh, than, than, than for, for, for the mining company if we're talking about mining or extraction of natural resources. It has nothing to do with nationalization. The Africa Progress Panel stressed the need for accountability and transparency. But will there be change? We're seeing civil society institutions being strengthened. And increasingly, people in African civil society, African civil society itself, is leading the call for this change. That enough is enough. It's no longer good enough to be exporting resources. For this to be seen as a hugely extractive relationship, that it has to be made more meaningful. And the way to do that is to transform the regulation, the transparency, the accountability around the whole sector region-wide. It certainly is Africa's time. Africa has certainly attracted the attention and the investment that it so desperately needs. There's been overall optimism from delegates attending this World Economic Forum meeting. And even though they admit that there are many challenges, they're willing to work together to move forward. Analysts say it's now up to Africa to take charge of its own future and ensure that the people of this continent share in the wealth. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Cape Town.